Minister Sri Mulyani and your team from the Ministry of Finance, Ambassador Bob Blake and Sophia, uh, Jake Levine, Chief Climate Officer of the U.S. Development Finance Corporation, Pag Iwan Freddy Hari Susanto, Charge d'Affaires at the U.S. at the in Indonesian Embassy, and my friend David Merrill and Iram Merrill. The American business community increasingly recognizes just how much Indonesia matters to America and America matters to Indonesia. In the first quarter of 2021, U.S. foreign direct investment to Indonesia quadrupled to almost 450 million year over year. This bumps the United States up from the ninth to the sixth largest investment source for Indonesia. In the face of Indonesia's recent surge in COVID-19 cases, the Council partnered with the Global Task Force on Pandemic Response, a public-private partnership spearheaded by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and Business Roundtable to mobilize U.S. private sector aid to Southeast Asia, starting with Indonesia. Since then, the Council helped facilitate the delivery of 33 pallets of critical relief materials to Indonesia by air freight and has secured funding to ship over 1,000 remaining pallets of supplies to Indonesia. In my view, challenges come with opportunities. And in the face of COVID-19, Indonesia has capitalized on the benefits of digital transformation. Indonesia has become the home of the biggest fintech startups in ASEAN, and with a strong infrastructure and financial inclusion, is well poised to become a digital economy leader for the region. U.S. industry is committed to helping small and medium-sized enterprises in Indonesia and ASEAN capitalize on digital transformation opportunities through our robust SME program. Climate change is another ongoing crisis that presents grave dangers, but also incredible opportunities. A recent report by Bain found that meeting ASEAN sustainability challenges could offer $1 trillion annually from new growth. Indonesia recognizes this. And thank you, Minister Sri Mulyani, for your leadership as co-chair of the Coalition of Finance Ministers for Finance Action. The American business community stands ready to support Indonesia and ASEAN's efforts on this front as the Council spearheads the largest private sector-led sustainability initiative in Southeast Asia. On that note, I would like to introduce you to our guest of honor, Mr. Jake Levine, the Cl Chief Climate Officer of the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation. He's responsible for developing and implementing the DFC's climate finance agenda. He serves on the DFC's Risk Committee and works closely with the DFC's public board agencies to coordinate administration policy on climate finance. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome our special speaker, Jake Levine. Thank you so much, Ambassador Osius. Uh, and thank you, 